Good evening. Before you sit down, please do me a favor. My name is Don Green, and I am the president here at Georgia Highlands College. And I would ask you right now to find your graduates, if you are one of our guests. Make eye contact and tell them how proud you are of them. Let's hear you. We are, so, we are so pleased to have all of these guests with us celebrating today, and with that, you can sit down. Welcome to the third of three graduation ceremonies for the class of 2021. We have chosen to perform multiple ceremonies today making it possible for us to commemorate greater numbers of our approximately 1,100 graduating students. As we celebrate this special occasion, I want to extend collective gratitude to our elected officials, to our community partners, to the donors who support our students through scholarships, to our foundation board of trustees, and to our alumni association board. Their tireless support has a positive impact on so many of our students, and we are thankful. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize the many guests who are celebrating with us via live stream right through that camera. Thank you for joining us today. You are as important a part of our celebration as all who are here with us physically. Thank you for being a part. Finally, I want to acknowledge our honorary faculty marshal, Professor Frank Miner. Frank, please stand. Tonight, I am honored that Regent T. Dallas Smith will be bringing greetings from the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia. T. Dallas Smith is the founder and chief executive officer at T. Dallas Smith & Company. He leads all new business development initiatives and his role includes overseeing all brokerage affairs related to the company and providing chief liaison services to key clients. Dallas, a Georgia State University alumnus, is the chair of the real estate committee at his alma mater. He also serves on the boards of the Council for Quality Growth and Atlanta Commercial Board of Realtors. He has been awarded numerous honors, including Atlanta Most Admired CEO in 2017, Atlanta Commercial Board of Realtors Realtor of the Year in 2018, and Empire Board of Realtors Broker of the Year in 2018. Regent Smith. Thank you. Thank you for that um, introduction. And I was hoping um, that the 14 point would work, but it's not gonna work, so let me put my glasses on. <laughs> um, again, good afternoon. As he mentioned, my name is uh, T. Dallas Smith, and it's a privilege to serve on the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia. I wanna thank President Green and all the others who had uh, something to do with this event today. To all the families and friends who are here, I know it's very exciting today for you uh, to celebrate this tradition and that has become the spring commencement at Georgia Highlands College. And I, it, this is much better than doing it on Zoom, too. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Give yourselves an applause for being one of the first <laughs> to do that. <laughs> to the graduates, I offer congratulations 
Earning a diploma is certainly a cause for celebration, but it's also a major reality check. As you receive your diplomas, I know you're leaving Georgia Highlands College well prepared with whatever life will throw your way. You're fully armed with the tools of an excellent college education and accompanying, 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 accompanying it's been a long day, accompanying <laughs> life's experience that will help you along the way and you'll have the tools to guide you that way. For 86 years, the University System of Georgia has offered the citizens of the state and nation and many from around the world one of the most powerful opportunities available to humanity. That is the gift of education. Hundreds and thousands of people lead more productive lives, serve and lead in their communities to make the world a better place because of that opportunity of education. As you leave the home that you've made for yourself here at Georgia Highlands College, I encourage you to remember that a college degree is far more than a piece of paper. It is a symbolic representation of the combined experiences that have led you to earn said degree. Your degree will undoubtedly help you find work, but the experiences that you've earned here and learned here at the university, at the college, cannot be traded for just the job market. And it's not because it is not in demand, it is because they are impossible to recreate. The experiences are yours and yours alone. And, what, and that's what makes them priceless. Your life in and of itself is a unique and ongoing experience, an experiment that is all your own. So as you set to go out from here, the grand challenge is to continue to learn and develop yourself as a person. I'll share with you a short story. Thomas Ellison, Edison tried over 2,000 different materials in search of a filament for the light bulb. When none of, the work, none of these worked satisfactorily, his assistant complained, all this work was in vain. We have learned nothing. Edison replied confidently, oh, we have come a very long way and we have learned a lot. We know 2,000 ways that won't work. <laughs> and as Nelson Mandela once stated, you never lose. You either learn or you win. The lessons, the challenges are clear. Learn from your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, but not everyone sees their mistakes as opportunities to learn. I'm not discounting success at all. Success can be wonderful, but it doesn't always teach you the lessons that failure will teach you. Trust me, I've had a lot of them. As you set out for life's journey, I hope that you'll find success. But if things don't go all the way that you would plan, be like Edison and try to make the most of your mistakes by learning from the opportunities. Today's commencement ceremony is about more than just collecting your diploma. It's also a time to reflect on the experiences at Georgia Highlands College, the successes, the challenges, the lessons learned, the teachers, the mentors, the friendships enjoyed, the triumphs, the missteps, and the unforgettable moments that brought you to this milestone. One of the most valuable things, if not the most valuable thing, that you can take away with you for your time here at Georgia, at Georgia Highlands College are the relationships that you've gained. I encourage you to treasure those and stay connected. Today, as you receive your diploma, you become alumni, and you are forever part of Georgia Highlands family and legacy. To that same end, Georgia Highlands is forever part of your legacy. No matter what life throws your way, always remember, Georgia Highlands College is your home, and we sincerely hope you will come to visit from time to time. On behalf of the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, is it an honor and a privilege to say congratulations. Thank you, Regent Smith. As president, it is always an honor to preside over this very special event. It is the greatest gift while serving as the president of a college. I think I can speak for everyone at GHC when I say nothing brings the faculty and staff 
greater joy than the day we see our students rise as graduates, the day we celebrate each of you for all that you have accomplished here at Georgia Highlands College. At this moment, you, graduates, are making history. You're making it for yourself. You're making it for your family, for the family and friends who will follow you. Today, you will leave as a college graduate. That is no small accomplishment. It will remain your moment and part of your history forever. And most importantly, it equips you so that you may influence others. You also join a class of graduates making college history today, returning to live commencement. And you are part of a special group in, in and a tradition dating back to the founding of our college. 50 years ago, a single graduate attended the first commencement ceremony in 1971 on this campus and in the president's office. And every generation of graduates since that one student has joined a history that will never be forgotten. Earlier this year, we lost one of the very founding faculty members at GHC. Dr. James Cook, a historian who wrote extensively about the governors of Georgia and about Georgia Highlands College, wrote extensively about you. He didn't know you, but he knew you would be here. And this is what he said. The fact that this history of GHC has been published shows its metamorphosis will continue and that those who come after us will be guided by a sense of mission, passion, and unity. Values that built the institution and values that position the college to continue to serve as a point of access to higher education. With this class of 2021 being my last commencement as GHC president, I would be remiss if I did not thank our faculty and staff for their continued love for our students and for their support of the college. To all of you, I am forever in your debt. Thank you. And now I want to underscore the sentiment that Dr. Cook's statement made concerning GHC's clear sense of mission, passion, and unity by welcoming to the podium the person who will serve as GHC's interim president and continue guiding GHC into the future, as well as help preside over today's celebration, our provost and chief academic officer, Dr. Dana Nichols. Thank you so much, President Green. I am truly honored and, and look very forward to continuing the legacy of GHC by honoring these students with us today, who, as you mentioned, are the ones making history as the 51st graduating class of Georgia Highlands College. For this reason and many more, it will be our honor and privilege to bestow on you these diplomas today. Now I'd like to introduce you to our platform guests. Uh, please stand when your name is called. Mr. Jamie Petty, Vice President of Finance and Administration. Ms. Travis Obas. Professor of Communication, who will announce our candidates for graduation. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. I would also like to take the time to recognize traditional platform members, Mr. Donnie Denson, President of GHC Alumni Association, and Mr. Matthew Perry, President of GHC's Student Government Association, for their important work. Donnie and Matthew typically would be on stage and speak with you today, but they have graciously acknowledged the need for social distancing on stage and a briefer commencement ceremony. Graduates, please find messages from these gentlemen in your program. Next, I have the great pleasure of announcing the recipient of the Wesley C. Walraven Faculty Award for 2021. Today, I am thrilled to announce that Professor Billy Morris has been selected for the second consecutive year. Yeah. <laughs> For those who may not know, the Walraven Award is named in memory of Dr. Wesley Walraven, the academic dean at Floyd Junior College, now GHC, from its founding in 1970 until 1993. Dr. Walraven was noted for many positive characteristics, but especially his keen intelligence, his unselfish dedication to students, and his quiet focus. Professor Morris exemplifies these traits. He is an outstanding choice for this prestigious award. Having earned a BS from Georgia Southern in 1980 and an MS from Emory in 1986, Billy has served at GHC since June 1994. There are way too many accolades and accomplishments to mention here, but among Billy's many noteworthy endeavors is his highly successful Wyoming Study Away program, which takes geology students out into the field to learn. Billy was also voted by his colleagues to serve as mace bearer this year. Please join me in congratulating Professor Billy Morris for these well-deserved honors. Thank you, Dr. Nichols, and uh, thank you to my colleagues for uh, giving me this honor yet again. Um, I wanted nothing more last year than to stand in front of a live group of people, and uh, you've given me that opportunity, and I, I appreciate it very much. Graduates, congratulations. You've done it. You're here. This is your day. We're so proud of you. I find so much inspiration in the work that you've done this last year to get you to where you are. And I know that many people in the room sitting on the either side do too. It, um, you had to have a ticket to get in here, I think, today. And so the people that are here with you are special to you indeed. And I know that there are many more people besides the ones in this room. So thank you all to parents, children, significant others, aunts, uncles, all of you. I know that you've stood behind your graduates when they needed it most and helped them to get where we are today. Many years ago, well, not that many, when I was a younger faculty member at Floyd College, coming to commencement ceremonies, I decided that the Walraven Award was given to someone who was about to retire. And so I have an announcement for you today. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. My mom was a college professor for 40 years. And she taught me the joy and satisfaction that comes from this profession. So I still have some things to do. I'm going to hang around a little while. My mom was not the only example in my life. Uh, every graduation, every commencement ceremony, I carry this picture with me. It's a picture of my dad receiving his diploma uh, down at the First Baptist Church in Rome, Georgia. And I'm standing beside him. I was four years old. I didn't really understand what was going on. I, apparently, it was an, an important day, but yet he said, a powerful example for me at that time. Students, graduates, you need to know how powerful this is. Someone is watching you today. Maybe more than one someone is watching you today. They've seen what you've gone through. You've set an example for them and you will continue to. And I urge you to use that in the best way that you can going forward. 
That was not the only example that I have in my younger years. As I became a pre-teenager and then a teenager, I watched a small group of faculty and administrators and staff work together to create this very institution that we have been talking about 50, 51 years ago. They had a dream. They had a vision. They built it literally from nothing, from the ground up. And I was fortunate to have a front row seat to that, for my dad later went on to become one of the original employees of the college. And so I watched what a group of committed people can do together. It's amazing and quite powerful. My faculty colleagues, we have learned over the years that our students come and they go. And it's part of our job. We train them up and we send them on to greater success. And we hope you'll come back and tell us about it. We also know that administrators come and they go. We train them up and we send them on to greater success. And we wish all the best for Don going forward. You're going to do wonderful things in Pennsylvania, Don. Yep. So who stays? Who's left? after all of this? Well, it, it's, it's us. It's faculty, it's staff, it's other administrators. It's those of us who have decided to make a history here. It's those who have planted seeds here and grown roots, whether or not we're from Northwest Georgia. Now, the next few years may be tough for us. We're, we're going to look at some budget problems and, and who knows what will come. But we should see this as an opportunity to create the future for Georgia Highlands College. Those of us who are here have a new opportunity to recreate this college the way that we want it. If you're satisfied with the institution, that's great, then share it. If you are not satisfied with the institution, then be the change that you want to see at GHC and then share that too. For we, we own this institution and we have the great privilege and honor and even joy, responsibility, to create the future for Georgia Highlands College and our new crop of students. As Dean Walraven said, we'll just keep doing the right thing for our students until someone tells us to stop. Have you been told to stop? I haven't either. My dad taught me another lesson. He taught me how to sail in Paris Lake, right behind this gym. The college used to have sailboats and taught a sailing class. Well, he taught me how to sail. And one of the most important things I learned about sailing is you can get wet. There's a particular thing that happens in sailing. It's called a knockdown. And if it's a warm, sunny day, it's fine. A knockdown happens when a wind comes out of nowhere and flips your boat sideways. And suddenly, without warning, you find yourself in the water, wet, cold. All of your things are floating and bobbing around you, and you don't know what to do. Well, we've just been through a knockdown. All of us have. That's what's just happened to us. But with strong leadership, with strong leadership, we've gathered our things, we've put them back in the boat, we've righted the boat, and we're making way again back on course. I'm so proud of all of you, my colleagues, your students, your support groups. You've done so well doing all of this. I'm confident that all the successes you want await you. How could they not? You might have lost some things in the last year. You might not have everything that you had last year, but you do have everything that you need. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Billy. Very inspiring words. And now, will all candidates for a bachelor's degree please rise? President Green, these candidates have completed all requirements for a bachelor's degree from Georgia Highlands College. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested 
in the University System of Georgia Board of Regents and delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree you have earned, admitting you to all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Recipients, you are welcome to remove your mask as you cross the stage to receive your diplomas. And will the recipients of a bachelor's degree please come forward to receive your diplomas now. So to all of our graduates, it's been a difficult time and we wish to return to live commencement. But in doing so, as many of you know me, and if you've been at any of GHC's commencements in the past, uh, I'm often a hugger and I'm definitely a handshaker for all of you who I know well. Can't do that this year. So as awkward as it may be, we're gonna be doing some fist bumps, okay? <laughs> so just stick with us, would you? Thank you so much. Dania Badia Hamada. Laura Lucille Mann. Alexandria Jade Miller. Angelique Melissa Mills, cum laude. Kevin James Morang, the second, cum laude. <laughs> Selena Munoz, cum laude. <laughs> Tommy Dante Ray, cum laude. Megan N. Roman, magna cum laude. Will all candidates for an associate's degree please rise? President Green, these candidates have completed all requirements for an associate's degree from Georgia Highlands College. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested in the University System of Georgia Board of Regents and delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the associate's degree you have earned, admitting you to all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Recipients, you also are welcome to remove your mask as you cross the stage to receive your diplomas. Will the recipients of an associate's degree please come forward now to receive your diplomas? Lamaya Breeze Arnold. Amanda Grace Bishop, magna cum laude. Dana Michelle Bonner.
Kendall Dawn Bowman, cum laude. Millie Elizabeth Brewer. Shannon Elaine Brown. Molly Ann Brunsbold, magna cum laude. Jordan T. Bunkley. Darby Ashton Kane, cum laude. Tecavius Clay Carroll. Lorenzo Raphael Casiro, magna cum laude. Brian M. Kassler Terrell. Stephanie Castillo. Trinity M. Chapman, magna cum laude. Yadira Chavez Alvarez, magna cum laude. Alicia M. Cooper. <laughs> Sarah Abigail Corbett, magna cum laude. Yesenia Cuevas. Edward Denzel Descanio, summa cum laude. Shemitris Davis. <laughs> Josie Tuesday Depew. Alyssa S. Duncan. Trisha R. Fannin, summa cum laude. Rama Fokker. Stephanie Blair Ford. Ivy Vanessa Flores. Brandy Lee Fogler, cum laude. Bolger, cum laude. Adrian Freyer, magna cum laude. Savannah Michelle Gassett.
Logan Everett Dudley Gepfert. Amanda Dawn Harris. Kayla Brooke Harris. Carl Roland Hayes II. Sylvia Dawn Henson. Linda Hodges Hill, cum laude. Taryn Grace Hitchcock, cum laude. Ashley Brooke Horn. Journey Camille Jackson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Arlette Jimenez, cum laude. <laughs> Shaylin Labray Johnson. Makaya Marie Jordan, summa cum laude. <laughs> Billy Danielle Jones, magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Kramer, magna cum laude. Laman Cuyete. Julio Cesar Lagarcia, Jr. Montana J. Ledbetter, magna cum laude. Austin Philip Little, summa cum laude. Christopher Lopez Cortez. Cindy Marie Lopez. Jamela Louis Jean. Erica Lovett. Beatrice Martinez. Kevin Reyes Martinez. Jordan Nicole McCoy. Joshua Jordan McCary. Yeah. 
Hunter Andrew McCreary, summa cum laude. Dakota Ray McDowell. <laughs> Tabitha Elizabeth McClendon. Blanca R. Melendez. Brooklyn F. Miller. Taylor Nicole Miller, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Sharima Morris. <laughs> Acela S. Moraga, magna cum laude. Carmen Miahongos Melendez, cum laude. Amber Dawn Monday, magna cum laude. This evening, we have a special presentation. The next diploma recipient is going to be receiving his diploma from his uncle, Dr. John Hershey, School of Humanities. Stone Lucas Nicholson. Charles Larry Oswalt, cum laude. You've okay, you got it. Haley Marie Overton, cum laude. Amaria Brache Owens. Tyler B. Paris. Sarah Emily Parker, cum laude. Sheena Parisha Patel. Tianta Nicole Pegas. <laughs> Jesse Nicole Pope, magna cum laude. <laughs> Haley R. Prouty, magna cum laude. Lacey Nicole Rutledge, magna cum laude. Daniel L. Robinson. Lynetta Roby. <laughs> Kimberly Nikisha Samuels, cum laude.
Tamira Lachey Sands. Cindy Santos. Montserrat Serna Melkor. Brianna Nicole Smith. Mary Nicole Stevenson, cum laude. Michaela R. Stockett, summa cum laude. Blair Alana Stewart, cum laude. Fabiana Thomas. Megan S. Turner. Courtney Jean Ulmer, magna cum laude. Jennifer May Vaughn, magna cum laude. Olivia Cynthia Marie Benuti, magna cum laude. Anna Rebecca Winters, cum laude. Nikira Williams, magna cum laude. Stephanie Ann Woodard, magna cum laude. Will all graduates please stand? As, as a symbolic gesture of your accomplishment, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you today and forevermore the graduates of Georgia Highlands College Class of 2021. It is with great pleasure that Georgia Highlands College recognizes the 2021 graduates as a new generation of GHC alumni. You join the ranks of 22,000 GHC alumni across the state and nation who have gone on to become medical professionals, attorneys, politicians, journalists, authors, entrepreneurs, scientists, artists, and more. We look forward to your future and what you will accomplish in your various career paths. Congratulations, Chargers. You did it.
ladies and gentlemen, as our ceremony closes today with the recessional, we ask that you make your way outside to join your graduates. I now ask everyone to please stand and remain standing for the recessional after Professor Robert Adams leads us for the GHC alma mater. the highlands, the school I hold dear, where good friends and mentors are always so near. One college united in perfect harmony. Thank you. 